All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be talking about file system defragmentation, which I've found to be one of the biggest reasons that people's NASes start to slow down and they can't figure out why. So what I'm about to say is only going to apply to hard drives. However, the vast majority of Synology NASes use three and a half inch hard drives, which are susceptible to fragmentation. Basically the way this works is anytime you're deleting a file on your NAS, it's not going to actually go to the physical location where that file is stored and remove it. Instead, all it does is it goes to the table that says where that is and says, okay, there's no files there anymore, but the data is still there. However, it's probably going to be a small section that is very difficult for the head to write to. Over time, this is actually what happens to your entire file system on the physical hard drive. You actually end up with hundreds of thousands of small sections to write data to, but no large sections to write data to. That means if you need to write a file to the hard drive, that head has got to spin to a bunch of different locations to write files, really slowing down your performance. The same issue happens when you need to read that file back. It's got to read it from all those different locations. This is what it's called a fragmented hard drive, and it really can slow down your performance. But there's a very simple solution to it, hard drive defragmentation. Basically what hard drive defragmentation does, it goes through and actually moves the fragmented files so they're all in the same section. And it also makes sure that you've got a large single chunk of data to write to. That means you'll have much better write performance and when you're reading back files, it'll be much faster as well. Now how often you need to run file system defragmentation completely depends on your use case. If you mostly use your Synology for archival, you probably very rarely will ever need to run defragmentation because you're not deleting a bunch of files and adding on more files. However, if you do something like videography or photography and are constantly filling, deleting, filling, deleting files off your NAS, then you're really going to want to run this often anytime you really start seeing a performance decrease. And so running a file system defragmentation is really easy. Simply go into DSM and go into Storage Manager. Then from Storage Manager, all you have to do is go to Volume. And under this Action submenu, you're just going to see File System Defragmentation. It's actually going to give you this note here. And it can actually increase the size of BTRFS snapshots. BTRFS snapshots are what's called very thin snapshots. So it's always storing deltas but a file system defragmentation can kind of break that. In my own experience, I've not found an increase of more than about five or 10%, but it can be significant for different use cases. So just know that. If your file system does get very fragmented, maybe think about deleting your snapshots, defragmenting, and then setting up your snapshots again, depending on what kind of data you're going to need. So if you're okay with that, just click yes and it's going to run the file system defragmentation for you. It can take anywhere from two to 10 hours in some cases, but generally it's pretty quick and it's gonna be completely dependent on your actual use cases. And during this time, you'll probably see a decrease in performance in your NAS as it's doing a ton with the hard drives. But after it's done running, you should see a significant increase. All right, that's all I've got for you. Go ahead and leave any comments below about what tutorials you'd like me to make or any questions you've got for me. And have a good one. Bye.